I had a question about blindfolds um, the other day and I want to address that. Um, the question was, why do you put a blindfold on a new person when you are doing a Shabari session or a BDSM session? I love this question because there's a lot of different reasons why you do it. Uh, first of all, you do it because people who are new, um, they're typically going to want to look around and see what you're doing and be distracted and it doesn't get them out of their head. When you're wanting to take somebody on a journey, you want them to feel. So as soon as you take away their sight, what happens is they have to go inward. They have to feel. Feel the sensations, the pleasure, face whatever they're there to face. Um, feel pleasure, feel fear, whatever needs to be showing up for them. This is how transformation happens. Like for me, it's like, um, Shavari BDSM is to take us to our next level and wherever we are in our life. And it's to empower, to heal, to open, to breathe into. And so when, when we take away the sight, it supports them to get out of their mind and into all the sensations in their body and in all the feelings and if any thoughts are there or images for them to look at about their life for them to shift it, to transform it, to open it, to whatever needs to happen, they're gonna do it better with their eyes closed. And why it's best for a newbie to do this is because typically, once somebody has experienced, you know, one to three to five sessions, they know the gift they're going to get. They know it, so you don't even have to blindfold them, they're, they just close their eyes. And once they know the gift, then they're like, they don't want to open their eyes. They don't want to look around. They don't want to distract themselves. We bring in so much information through the eyes. And when those are taken away, our, our other senses heighten and um, becomes more of a delicious experience where you know you take a flogger and you hit the floor or you take a nail and you just kind of go up the skin. They're gonna feel and hear all of that more. Or you you know, uh, light a stick of incense, they're gonna smell it even more intensely. They're gonna, or you have uh, essential oils, or any of that. You're gonna drop the rope, they're gonna, they're gonna actually normally have a physical response to it. But their eyes are open, they're gonna just see it and go, oh, it has to open up the senses. This is just a few reasons right there. Um, there, is, there are more, but this is the reason. And sometimes you want to even blindfold somebody who's been doing it a while because there's something about letting go of also control. Surrendering even deeper. I can't open my eyes. And it's great because if you need to open your eyes and you need to see what's going on, because sometimes every once in a while somebody's going through something and they're like, I need to breathe, I need to have some eye contact with you, and it's great, take off the blindfold, and I just sit, and I'm like, I sit and breathe with them, and eye gaze with them, or maybe they just need to like focus on a point on the wall. But most of the time, it just, blindfolding takes away control, takes in surrender, and, and this is the main reason why people come for sessions they're like i just need to surrender i need to like release control so i can feel so i can go to my next level so i can just deepen into myself so if you have any questions about blindfolds or anything else please leave them below i would love to hear from you my name is heather ray dawn um i use shibari as a way to heal and empower people, support them to go to their next level. It's a meditation. It's a beautiful, beautiful art form.